Okay, so we're here at Hershey Park. We just got these uh, press passes from your friend who works for the park. You said you don't know exactly what her like position is here, like <laughs> like a creative director, maybe like something like that. You said she like. Well, yeah, but you said she uh, worked on the menu for the Dark Nights, right? So it's something of that nature. And uh, yeah, she hooked us up with free passes. So we get free passes for the Dark Nights event and uh, VIP passes. And we also get uh, like a buffet to try all the different uh, exclusive food items. So it's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, there's an RV show right now so the park is looking like it's gonna be pretty crowded so I don't know I was thinking about getting on the Wildcats Revenge since I haven't done it yet but I'm willing to bet the line's gonna be really long because this park's always so crowded every time I come like even early early season when I've come before is I mean, it is a good amusement park. I can understand why it's popular. Okay, so they just informed us that the buffet is near the kissing tower. And you said, is this open to the public or is this just for the... You can buy them. Okay, so it is open to the public. It is the first night, though. Uh, I, I assumed we were doing it's, something it's that... It's called VIP, though. You pay for it. Yeah. Ah, he has fangs! Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> I need a lunch for that. You don't have to go behind that. You don't want to, but he is cool. Free top. Let's get together for a sweet photo, friend. So, I did uh, come here for opening night last year. It was all right. We'll see if they improved it or not. <laughs> I thought it was opening night? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I mean, there were there were a few kinks that they needed to sort out with this one. This area of the park used to be a lot better. Like, th that's where the carousel used to be there. And then remember over here was that big wheel. So I do know that there's a new house this year and I think a new scare zone. So we'll see what those are like. I actually didn't get to do all the houses last year. Like, one of our wristbands wasn't working, so we had like a whole... Oh yeah, I guess... Are they not doing them this year? I don't know. <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. Maybe they're not doing it tonight because the park wasn't open all day. So like, you had to pay. I mean, to even be in the park, you had to pay for the dark nights. Yeah, this is part of the, like, I think it's called Nightmare Creatures. This is gonna be one of the scare zones. One of the criticisms last year was that the scare zones were too minimal. I know one of them was supposed to be through here, so I don't know. Maybe they didn't improve on that. So we just got in. I don't think this is open to the public, is no, it? No, I don't think <laughs> it is. It said yet. private event. She's, they're going to be selling yeah. tickets. I, but yeah, I think it will be eventually, but. <laughs> there are scare actors in here, and it's 
it's a buffet. I think that's why it's called R.I.P. Tour, like V.I.P. Oh, wow. We got some uh, actors in here. <laughs> Okay, we got sweet and tangy meatballs with pasta. Which one? Do these have like, um, I thought you said they had like uh, themed titles. <laughs> I'm taking. <laughs> That's my dancing name. I think there's going to be a lot of places. Here, can you give me some? I only have one hand. Just give me, I want to try everything. Yeah. yeah. Just give me a little bit of each thing. We'll try, all, we'll try it all. Go figure, who? We got like a parfait. Oh, it's a taco dip. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm <laughs> well, hello and welcome to Dark Knights, children. I'm the Necromancer. I will be waiting for you here. I do have something to share with each and every single one of you watching at home. Yes, that's a real nail, six inches long, sharp on one end, dull on the other. Kind of like this conversation. <laughs> Are you um, from the carnival? I am the reason for the season, <laughs> my dear. I've invaded this <laughs> land and released the gates of hell upon all you mortalings, sitting forth my minions in all corners of the park awesome. in a hostile takeover if you would nice now allow me to drive a point home <laughs> kids do not try this at home go to your neighbor's house get it <laughs> wow nailed it <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> wow <laughs> oh I'll be waiting for you by the midway of Mal Missouri. We'll see you there. <laughs> Appetizing. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from the Haunted I'm from the Coal Mine? Coal mines. Awesome. I skate with only half my mind. Those <laughs> darn gone Tommy Knockers, they were down there and they, the they were getting me in the rock band. You hear that <laughs> song that they play and they go right into your head. It's going nowhere, up is down, up is down, down is up, down is up, up is down, up is down, up is down. Ah! <laughs> Are you from Centralia? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Centralia? The burning uh, village in Pennsylvania. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, coal mines are rough down there, so you should y'all take a look at it later. Maybe you'll be working with us if you can't escape. <laughs> I got some pickaxes. Ready nice. Where you a couple of balls of whiskey. All right, we'll nice. be there. <laughs> nice. We got a bar here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the desserts are looking awesome. Oh, wow. Brains in a jar. Yeah, creative menu, yeah. all themed to Dark Knights. 
grilled cheese with bloody vile tomato soup. There's a taco dip that has a spider web on top. That's good. It looks layered. There were meatballs, a meat and cheese platter with a skeleton meat head on it. I feel like you showed that. Yeah, I'm excited to try all this, especially the, the desserts. The desserts look awesome. Clever planning, like this witch's room, cheese mm -hmm. stick. A lot of cute Halloween party ideas, too. All right. So I'll try the grilled cheese and tomato soup bile. Just dip it in there. Yeah, just dip it on the edge. I'll make a mess. Oh, cool. I think. That's good. Wow, we can eat like a whole bunch. You have to put the cap back on this. Mm -hmm. or it's going to spill out everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't want my own. I'm like, I don't know. I that know. Much I was soup. thinking the same thing. I was like, and he's like, go. Oh. How are you, what are you going to do? You have to, I wouldn't be able to hold the camera with one hand and have it in the other hand. Okay, let's try this grilled cheese here. Oh, yeah, it's like garlic bread. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. I like that a lot. Clever. Mm -hmm. A lot of clever displays. Okay, let's try this uh, seven layer dip here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is really good because it has like oh, whole that's good too. it has whole beans at the bottom. A lot of times when you have taco dip it's like um all refried like beans on the as the bottom layer. This one actually has like beans and corn and stuff instead of just uh, pureed refried whatever you call it. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> Have you tried the food yet? The food is delicious. It is. I do recommend everything. Yeah. <laughs> he needs a raise. Mm -hmm. He's putting in the work. I feel like everything here is very fully realized there's a lot of options so if you necessarily don't like one thing there's a lot of options to choose from so for 50 bucks as a dinner buffet you can definitely come here and get your values worth i want to know if um if this is like when they have the catering here like for work picnics and stuff if you can come back like at any point during the uh, event or not i don't think so I wasn't sure because whenever my dad would have work picnics here, you know, they had like the um, the catering thing set up and then you could... I'm not sure. I don't think it's the same. Okay. But when you buy the VIP dinner package, you get a fast track single use ticket, which I think you can use for the houses, right? Mm -hmm. So we can choose any house we want to use this for. Does that include the rides? Yep. No way. Awesome. All right, so we just got the dinner entree, and Justin got the beef brisket, which is Auntie Boredom's house recipe. Beef brisket with honey bourbon barbecue sauce. Yeah, I think Auntie Mortum is the new uh, the new house, so that ties in with Tying that. Tying in the theming. Yeah. You also got the chicken. Don't chicken out. Chicken breast with cranberry poultry sauce. You got a side of ooey gooey mac and cheese and cauldron cooked Brussels sprouts. I also got some of the monster mashed potatoes. They also have creepy carrots over there. 
and also Big Brothers pork chops, which are oven baked pork chops with apple pork gravy. Oh, uh, that's what that was for. Oh yeah. The gravy on the side. Yeah, the gravy. The mac and cheese is really good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna actually try the brisket first. That's what I think looks the best out of the three meats. To me, I love brisket. Yeah, that's like the brisket that they have at the uh, Trailblazer barbecue. I forget what it's called. It's the barbecue place over by the Trailblazer. It's good brisket. It's a lot like that. Yeah. Okay, let's try the mac and cheese. That's good mac and cheese. Yeah, you gotta have mac and cheese when you have barbecue. And there's a lot of people that don't like Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. We have Brussels sprouts very often. It's like one of our go-to uh, vegetable sides. And they are very good. That and asparagus. Very good. Yep. We love Good on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's very flavorful, and like just tying the theming in with the attractions and everything. All right, so we went to a lot of parks this summer, and when you buy a meal at a park, it's always going to be expensive. Sometimes we would just get a sandwich and a drink, and it would be like thirty bucks a person, yeah. or something crazy like that even just for like one thing in a side. So this is $49.99 or $49.95 I believe. But what I will say is that if you're coming here for the haunt, to me it does seem like a good value because it's a buffet. So you're not limited to the amount of what you get of things. And the quality is pretty good. It's a good value. Um, like normally you're paying like what at least 20 bucks for brisket yeah and you could get like two or three servings of that here as well as appetizers unlimited drinks and desserts so it's a little pricey for one meal but I think the value of it is good and it's like a good fun date night a seasonal fun thing to do yeah I'll point out <clears throat> with pricing like all the parks that do these uh, haunt events, they all have themed food that you can buy separate. Now, if you were to add up each individual item, yeah. it's way over what you would pay for this. So, I mean, Plus, the place is themed. There's haunt actors everywhere. Yeah. There's a lot of variables going into it. Exhibit A. <laughs> Yeah, you get some entertainment with your meal here. <laughs> it's almost like a haunt of itself. <laughs> she's slaying. Yeah. No, she's serving. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Maybe she's scoping out a buffet. A buffet of people to eat. Uh, a lot of people do call this worms and dirt. They labeled it dirt pudding and had a stair actor serving it out of a wheelbarrow. <laughs> There are gummy worms in here and Oreo pieces. Well, that's a classic nostalgic dessert. That's and like. I already know what this is gonna be. Yeah, I probably haven't had that since like elementary school. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's one of those things that like the teacher does like when you're like, um, 
learning about worms or something and she wants to be fun she like brings in like all this stuff to make that for the kids right yeah i don't want to think about real worms when i'm eating it yeah <laughs> okay and then Classic. we got the brains in a jar we'll try that in a second yellow cake with strawberry, strawberry and, and icing, icing. very uh generous in the icing there <laughs> Yeah, the desserts are definitely the star of this whole buffet, in my opinion. Look good. The eyeballs on this cake are so cool, and this the way they baked this uh, cinnamon bun to look like organs is really clever. It does look pretty effective. Honey, she said um, honey, cinnamon, and butter cream. Right. That sounds really good. Yeah. So how is that one? Is that like a is it like a thick frosting or is it like whipped frosting? Yeah, it's light. Like whipped frosting. It's light, so it's not too thick or too much. I think it's really good. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I'm Usually, like a nine out of 10. I'm not big on vanilla frosting, so. Yeah, it's not thick. And I can't eat like a ton of sweets at once, so I'm probably just gonna try these two. But yeah, we'll we'll share. Um, try. Okay, so let's try the cake here. This is a bunt cake. I never really like um, understood what bunt is, why it's called a bunt cake. It's the, shape. the shape of it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's moist. The icing's good. It is moist. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. This guy's offended that I don't know which uh, attraction he's from. I did my best to take a wild guess, but I, I don't think I actually got it. <laughs> he's not at this time. Okay. Maybe he has his own secret attraction here. He is an attraction. It's in itself. Right? It's not like you. It's so funny. The first ringmaster was like boisterous and performative. And that one is like mysterious and really yeah. hates you. <laughs> yeah, I guess that he was from the creatures on Cage first because I did that last year and I remember there being like a ringmaster sort of guy, so that's why that was my first guess, but the way he reacted, I think he might have, might have been from one of the other ones. And then I just kept guessing after that, and he wasn't happy. So he sat down with them. <laughs> wow. I'm claiming the intestine is the best dessert. Yeah, I, I, would, I would agree. Uh, the cake, the bun cake is good too. The other ones were uh, very inventive, though. And you said the um, you said the, the cake and the, the brain in the jar was good. Okay, so we're about to do Creatures Unmasked. I did do this one last year, but they changed the entrance for this one this year, so um, if you're looking to do this one, you have to, it's backwards. Like, this used to be where you came out. I'm assuming that you come out now over where you went in last year, which was over uh, across from like the Super Duper Looper uh, station. Now you go in this way, probably, so. And then uh, I think the entrance for Haunted Coal Mine is still where it was last year, which is over there by the uh, Trailblazer entrance. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll follow you guys. All right, cool. <laughs> So 
much fog in here. <laughs> Another vending machine. That's why he came out. Alright, so that was Creatures on Mass. What did you think? They got me. I thought it was better last year. Um, they had like a ringmaster guy doing like a whole. Yeah, last year they had like this guy on the stage doing like a little. And he was a good actor too, but I don't know. Maybe they have him doing something else this year. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I thought that looked like that guy, but he. <laughs> He acted like mad that I said that that was what he was from. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was mad because he they didn't give him the same role again or something. I'm, I think that might have been the guy, actually. And then, now they're like telling him, like, don't talk to anybody. And he was a good actor. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna use our uh, single-use fast track passes for the uh, Haunted Coal Mine because it's the longest wait right now. Okay, we're in the Haunted Coal Mine.
That one was decent. That one was way better than the first one. Yeah, well, the first one wasn't great last year either. Um, a lot of people were saying that that Creatures on Mass was the weakest of them. Well, if that's the weakest, then that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think it would be more effective in the dark. I still say the one that I originally said is the best one is the best. We'll, we'll go do that one next, I guess. This is the new uh, scare zone for the season. This is the new scare zone, Fallout. What, did it, what was it called? Fallout zone or something? Oh, I want to try my experiment. <laughs> you look like. <laughs> you like experiments. <laughs> come, oh, come. Come and pop the bubbles. <laughs> Is she gonna get radiation? It's the only way that you can understand. <laughs> Over to the right. Have three. Have three of them, okay? Have three. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is a decent scare zone, actually. This is what they're supposed to be like. <laughs> Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> Here's the radioactive bubbles. They actually have fog in them. Yeah, you gotta pop them. There's smoke and radiation in them. Oh no. I popped three. Now you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna grow an extra head. You gotta turn into the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> My hair's turning green. <laughs> All right, now that was a scare zone. They actually, whoa. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, they did a good scare zone. This is a good one. <laughs> Those flames were crazy. Look at the smoke cloud that I made. Wow. All right, that's a good one. We got Midway of Misery up here. I think they changed the uh, location of where this, this didn't used to be this far up. It used to be over by the uh, Lightning Racer. So maybe, oh, well, they got like acrobats. That's where they sell the souvenirs. Here's the uh, souvenir shop where you buy it. You can buy all the uh, Dark Knights branded stuff. Guess we might as well go in here real quick while we're here.
Here's where you get all the merch. Candles. Pints. Shot glasses. Hoodies. It's got that guy on it. Yeah, I hope they're paying him good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twisted Carnival is the best one. I don't think that one's here this year. That was from last year. I might be wrong, but that maybe. That's pretty cool. This one's kind of cool. Why does it have this thing stitched in the middle? They might have expanded the uh, Midway of Misery scare zone this year because the entrance is further back. So that would indicate that they made it bigger. Here's Wildcat's Revenge. I haven't gotten a chance to ride it yet. I don't know if I'll do it tonight yet or not. Okay, we're gonna do Twisted Carnival. It's like the uh, arcade game Carnival. We're doing regular line, right?
Have your tickets ready. No tickets mean no safety. Pretty good. Oh yeah. I mean, that's a decent one for sure. I love that. Yeah. Okay, that's the descent over there. That doesn't look too long. The descent, I think that's the line. But... Yeah, I think there were actually some new things in there. I don't remember the uh, dark ride car with the skeletons in it, but they clearly got that idea from. Uh, Knobles, right? <laughs> and yeah, that the reason I have that one beside this is because that was a funhouse themed uh, haunt. Okay, so here's the new one, Anti Mortem's Abattoir. Anti Mortem's Abattoir. This is the new one. It's the entrance is over here at the Lightning Racer. All right, here we go. Anti Mortem's Abattoir. That guy looked like review of the week, right? <laughs>
okay it wasn't too bad I, I think they're trying to make that they're trying to do a scarier one now yeah. that one's scarier than the other ones yeah I'm not like a huge fan of like the butcher like slaughterhouse houses but that one was pretty good it was all right uh, yeah, I would put that one up there with the uh, top three that are here with uh, Twisted Carnival, this one, and uh, Haunted Coal Mine are definitely the best ones here. Yeah, that was decent. And yeah, I like that they're adding more fire effects. The one they have over at the new scare zone, the nuclear zone, really good. Like, really big fire, what do you call them, fire geysers, fire, <laughs> fire fountains, I don't know what they're, <laughs> all right, we only got one more to do, the descent, the descent's the last one, over here, we really like hit them all up really good, like the way we did them, like, we only waited for uh, Twisted Carnival and that was only like 15 minutes, so, uh, We didn't get to see the guy with the uh, rollerblades. Oh, you did see him. I pointed him out to you. Oh, I didn't know who you were talking about. I thought you were saying. Look, he's there. Oh, uh, I didn't know. I thought he's you were. Probably in that center part now. Yeah. All right, we're getting ready to do the descent. We'll see if they added stuff since last year. Last year there wasn't a lot in this one. I've never been here. So we'll see. It's themed to like um, tunnels and catacombs and stuff like underground. They had a pre-show in this room last year. So I don't know, I guess they don't have it this year. There was a actor in here.
okay. I feel like they did improve it a little bit since last year. There was more props in there. It was, and I feel like they made it a little bit longer, but I still would say it's the weakest of all of them. And this gets the longest line for some reason. I don't know. Weaker than the creatures? Uh, okay. It's better than the creatures, but marginal. Maybe that was weak to me because it was laid out. My least favorite thing about that one is that the actors are like, the masks and stuff aren't great. Like they don't really um, interact much and say stuff and they're not scary. Yeah, I mean, I think that would have been scarier in the dark. And like the theme is just like a little bit, uh, I don't know, redundant. Like it, there's not enough like mixture of different um, props or obstacles or anything like it's kind of just like the same the whole way through you know what i mean and that was my feelings about it last year but it is a little bit longer this year i think there's more uh skeletons and and things like that but yeah like the week that main area over there oh you mean the new one the the nuclear one no where the school was yeah, over that way. The nuclear zone. All right, so I just rode Wildcats Revenge two times in a row. First, time. First ride, it was walk on. Can you believe that? There was no line. Everyone's distracted. By it was absolutely incredible. Like I would actually say I could potentially put it above Steel Vengeance. The at Cedar Point, yeah. Um, the inversions are a lot snappier than Steel Vengeance. Uh, it seems, it, it feels faster, but that could just be because it's like they're running it in the dark right now for the Halloween thing, oh, for cool. Dark Nights. Yeah, so I, I, every, roller coasters always feel faster in the dark, but man, that was a really good first two rides. I couldn't believe it was walk on. Wow. Yeah, it was really, really, really good. We like, got really lucky with yeah, we finished all the houses in what, like an hour? Something like that, like a little over an hour? Yeah, pretty quickly. Yep. Maybe maybe I'll do another ride or something. Is there any ride we can do together? I don't know. It seems like a lot of people are really excited about this event, and a lot of people are dressed up and like here for the first night intentionally. There's a lot of scare actors in this area, a lot of fog and teaming. Yeah, this was a much, much better event this year than last year, in my opinion. Like, I didn't get to come last year, but I told him I feel like when a park or anywhere begins a new event, there's always going to be kinks to work out, and I feel like they did a really good job tonight. And um, my friend that I talked to, who is part of the food here at Hershey, said that they introduced 75 new items on the menu this year um, for the Halloween event and outside of that mm -hmm. so that is a lot of new things and you said there were new elements introduced in the Hawks so it seems like they're just working on making it bigger and better which and this was also a really good first night for this event because the park wasn't open all day it opened at five, so there's a lot less people here than last year. Um, all the, almost all the rides are walk on. There's no waits for the rides. Last year, um, the hype might have been bigger because it was like the first opening night of it ever. Also, they I think it opened on a Saturday last year. Okay. So that's this is a Friday, so this probably has a lot to do with why there's less people. But uh, I, was, I was expecting there to be way more people in the park because when we got here, the parking lot was pretty full. I think it was for like an RV convention. Yeah, maybe a lot of the people were parking over in the Maybe the park, um, some of lot. those RV people were just going to like Chocolate World because that's like a free thing yeah. that anyone can do at any time. Yeah, um, should we maybe do chocolate? Well, no, it's probably closed now. Not at this point. We could have done it first, but we were trying to get here um, like right away. Yeah, we did all the houses. I think we walked through all the scare zones. The de they definitely, uh, with the new scare zone, they totally improved it. The old ones are the same as last year, but the uh, the new one is, you know, up to par with what 
you know you expect out of a scare zone. So they and definitely this middle area that, is cool too. But, yeah, and I think it's good that they moved this zone over to this area because there's a lot more space for like the people to walk, actors to walk around and stuff. They had it further up last year. It was up near the uh, where they have the flames coming out uh, by the uh, Ferris wheel. And I didn't think that that was a good spot for it. So it's a good, th good thing they moved it over here. I feel like the more established this event gets, the bigger and better, they'll probably continue to make the stair zones. True. As well as the houses. Yeah, I mean, the new house this year was definitely an improvement as, as, as far as um, the scare factor. Um, that definitely wasn't as family oriented as the that other ones. That probably is the scariest one. I think a lot of people were complaining last year that there weren't any scary ones, so I think that's that was their answer to that. And a lot of people were frankly saying that the scare zones weren't great, so it's a good thing that they heard people out and actually put a new scare zone in that is like substantive and has, you, you know, see theme that and everything. They put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Um, I would just say, obviously anyone that's vegan or sensitive towards <laughs> that type of um, subject material obviously would know by the nature of it to not go into that one. It's pretty I've grotesque. seen much worse though. Yeah. They did scale down the gore level. Like a lot of those uh, slaughterhouse walkthroughs are way gorier than that. So it's yeah. no, But, but it, I wouldn't say it's a family oriented one. And I thought it was cool that they put a uh, vortex tunnel in there, but I feel like they should have added that to the uh, fun house walkthrough instead. Oh, you didn't go through the vortex tunnel. No. What did they do? They like told you to go through a different yeah, they door. Yeah, maybe a different way. Maybe they can only allow so many people to go through the vortex tunnel at one at the same time or something. They split us up. Yeah, I was wondering what that was about. Did it, what happened after they split us up? Was there anything in that? Another room. But it wasn't a vortex tunnel. I got a, I got an awesome vortex tunnel. That's not really fair. Yeah, I know. And I felt like it didn't fit the theme at all. So, like, they should have put that in the fun house. I didn't know in that. The car, in the Twisted Carnival. All right, well, uh, maybe we'll do yeah. another ride or something. There's no wait for anything, so. But yeah, we'll probably be heading out soon. Get out here and check it out. It's it's definitely a lot better this year. I want to see those big flames again. I don't think they're going off anymore, are they? Were they going off when you were sitting out over there? No. Those were awesome. I don't even think I got a shot of them. Like maybe like the very end of it. But yeah, this is this is a good scare zone. This is sort of like a Halloween horror nights esque uh, scare zone, right? It's definitely a big improvement over the scare zones from last year. <laughs> I mean, they got the actors interacting with the guests. They got a bunch of props. They got like those bubbles. They're not doing it now, but they had like fog bubbles coming out of that machine. Yeah, I feel like um, this one and the uh, the one back there, the carnival, I don't forget what the scare zone's called for that. The one that's carnival themed is definitely uh, the two decent ones. This one's the best so far. How many actors are there? There's probably like, what, 12 actors or something in here? Good bit. And they got this big like entryway sign for it. The fallout zone.
I would say if they have the opening night on a Friday next year, get out here if you want to ride the coasters because they're walk-on. I mean, you could probably get like 40, 40 plus rides in, in those four hours. Okay, here's another one of the gift shops. This is the, the boutique. They have some monsters uh, stuff and Universal Monsters too. That's a cool one. These are glow in the dark. This creature one's cool. They do have some of the uh, Dark Knights branded shirts in here too. But they got uh, the Monsters, Bella Lugosi. Ride of Frankenstein. I have one of these uh, tarot. I have the Herman Monster one. I got some masks and stuff in here. This is actually the better of the two uh, gift shops. Cooler stuff in here. Less like of the branded souvenir stuff, but. There's the new one, the uh, anti mortems. These bags are cool. I have some uh, Halloween themed games with some act like those are 90s, right? Those like tapestry things. Yeah. And over at this game, they have these like Squishmallow esque um, Hershey's Halloween themed plushes they look a lot like squish mallows okay we're gonna do the train ride I'm thinking maybe there might be some uh, Halloween themed stuff like they do with the uh, Christmas candy lane I don't know I've never been on this during the Halloween event so they do have some stuff out front so that's a good sign this train ride used to have really good theming it used to be uh, the dry gulch railroad and it used to have Cow fiberglass cowboys and Indians and like an animatronic snake that jumped out at you and but they got rid of all that stuff years ago unfortunately I don't know why I mean <laughs> it really like enhanced the ride because this doesn't really go around the park or anything it just goes around this like pioneer frontier area and you don't really get good sh like sh I mean you get shots of like the uh the Jolly Rancher remix and stuff, but uh, it was better back in the day when they had all the different uh, Western theming around it. I wish they would have kept all that. I've never ridden their uh, flyers. They don't go that high. I mean, none of them really do except for Knobles. Oh, that one, actually they got that one pretty high. But you can't snap these or anything like that, like you can at Knobles. All right, here we go on the uh, Dry Gulch Trail Road. Comment down below if you remember the snake that used to pop out and shoot water at you. Comment down below. <laughs> I remember I loved that when I was a kid when that snake came out. Like, why would they get rid of that, right? Comment down below if you're <laughs> fucking child or grandma. Nobody knows what that means. Uh, <laughs> you're going to ruin in. my video. I want you to put it in. You do get a shot of the Storm Runner track here. But only for this uh, top hat section. See, like right here, there was like um, fiberglass cactuses, and then there was like a, a boot hill graveyard. That's actually scary. I want to point out all the stuff that That's used to scary. be. I don't like it. All the fog and stuff. I think maybe where this building was, there used to be like a waterfall or like a sluice or whatever, and uh, there was like a guy panning for gold. 
There was only a couple animatronics. Most of them were just like fiberglass static figures. Oh wait, that guy's still down there. I see him down there. They actually still have that guy there. the trailblazers running. I don't think they have all the coasters. There goes uh, Storm Runner. I mean, I guess if there's no theming for the Halloween, at least it's like uh, kind of eerie with the uh, fog effects. Okay, up here is where the snake used to pop out. I believe it was right here. That's where he was. And then right here in this area was a big graveyard with skeletons, I think. And then there was like an Indian village set up like right over here, like a Native American Indian village with uh, teepees and stuff. Right over there. And you would go over this bridge. And then I passed this bridge, there was like a western town and like an animatronic cowboy that popped out of a like saloon or something. Yeah, that stuff's all gone now. It was all right here. I wasn't overly impressed with the uh, Jolly Rancher remix. Uh, I thought they would change the trains out and make it smoother. Like these Vekoma boomerangs are now getting to a stage in their life where the track, like I don't know if it's the track or the trains are, are uh, getting worn out, but they're getting really rough. Every time I ride one now, like my neck hurts so bad afterwards. And it just makes that's not the only reason. They're, they're like literally getting worn out. And you still go through this tunnel up here. No, please don't. Don't. Nobody knows what that is. First of all, I'm willing to bet that there's a lot of uh, Halloween Town fans that don't even recognize that line. It's so insignificant. <laughs> she was like trying to trying to point it out to me last time, and she couldn't even find the part where she says no, no, that. No, 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 no. It was right after the clip that we watched, and it just wasn't in the YouTube video. All right. Well. Uh, the truth will not be censored. Uh, the truth will be documented. I don't think they were trying to Grandma like um, write yeah. some kind of like comedically genius line with that one. It's, it's not. Simply just something to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Must have been the big cheese. Well, that one's funny, and everybody remembers that one. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Witch was scary. I thought they would have some Halloween. a scary witch. Didn't you think there'd be some Halloween theming? Well, at Christmas, they put Christmas lights. 
along the train ride. I thought there would be some Halloween lights or... They should have had, um, like they should have brought back the old Wild West theming and had it like, uh, like the Knobles train ride. She's just all inside jokes. Nobody knows what she's talking about. I mean, I guess it's nostalgic to ride this, but uh, it would be a lot more nostalgic if they had that Western theming. It'd be a lot more nostalgic if they did. It'd be a lot cooler if they did. I can't even do Matthew McConaughey. It'd be a, it'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. No. <laughs> Why aren't the other ones lighting up now? There it is. Now they're all lit up. Every time I hear this now though, I, I think of Trimper's Haunted House. Hey, that's a cool bang. Hey, you got cool hair. Hey, you got cool hair. I love your tattoos. All right, we're gonna do the uh, Reese's Dark Ride. I actually think this is one of the better interactive dark rides. Like, this is one of the oh, oh, nice, Reese's. Reese's. Oh. Reese's Pieces. It's Reese's Pieces. Oh, it's Reese's. Reese's Pieces. No. <laughs> I just like to be contrarian about it to all the people that are actually saying it right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, Sally Corp did this or what company made this, but it is a really decent shooting car drive. Keep your eyes peeled. Mint can't be far. How do those 
North agents, we need your racist spirit. After him! You can do this! It's all up to you! Quick, we can't let him escape! Oh, beating no. you. Ben's gotten into the lab. Look sharp, agents. Give us the cup, Mint. Where did he go? What's that and now, my secret game plan. <laughs> Shooting the screen. I was only shooting the. Oh, really? Uh, oh, there's more? I could have beat you. You didn't tell me. Look at your face. Oh my god. Please remain seated until the Reese's transport has come to a complete stop. And come back. So yeah, what did you think of that? It's not too bad, right? No. Thank you. It feels like it's like playing like a um like a game like a video game, right? It's okay, but I didn't know I was supposed to be shooting the screen. Yeah. I was shooting the little lights. Yeah. Most of the time. Obviously. I feel like the interactivity is like better than most of them. Like um the way when you shoot the screen it like shoots a laser uh like on the screen itself. It just feels a lot more responsive than most of them do. Alright, so we're going to be heading out now. We had a pretty good day here. It <laughs> didn't cost us a cent, so you can't complain about that. About a $4.50 water. Oh, we had to pay for parking, but yeah, other than that, everything was all-inclusive. <laughs> so I guess that's a benefit of... Uh, knowing someone who works here so yeah uh, I would definitely uh, give this event a much higher rating than I did last year last year was the very first year and it was the first I came on the first night of the first year so you know they had like some bugs and stuff to work out and I ended up being like on the <laughs> wrong end of them because yeah, there was just issues last year with the uh, band system. Like, I don't know. I think they might have done away with the wristbands this year. Because I didn't see the stations. They used, they used to have stations that you had, to, you had to get the wristbands for the Dark Nights. Now, I don't know. Maybe on the days that the parks open, like, earlier in the day, maybe they do them then. I'm not sure. But they didn't have them tonight, and everything was, like, way smoother and better that way. Oh, they got a penny, penny press. It's not for Dark Knights. I don't think I have any Hershey Park pennies though, so I don't know. 
Yeah. So this used to be like the center of the park. And this area was a lot better back in the day. They used to have this. Oh, uh, cool. They used to have this thing that was like all these archways with lights. Do you remember that? And then they had like um, those like Hollywood stars. I honestly don't like this at all. Like, no, I, don't... I grew up at Hershey Park and I haven't been here in at least five years and this is completely different. Yeah, I mean, I liked the way it looked back in the day a lot better, but I like everything from back in the day better, so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, I don't respond to change well because I'm a man of nostalgia. <laughs> I'm a man of great nostalgia. Me either, but so, um, I mean, that was just better theming altogether. Like this. Yeah, this, this section used to be themed, right? it used to be themed to like a European town. And then the entrance was like through this, and it was like a village, it was, and there was a lot more trees. And. Yeah, it was just a much better entrance before, but uh, I understand why they did this because they ran out of space to expand. Because if, if you look at the perimeters of the property of this park, it's surrounded by roads. And then it's pretty much right in the middle of like her, the town of Hershey. So they, the only space that they had to expand was near the front area of the park. So they had to, you know, they had to take all that out so that they could put a new coaster here. And, uh, it is a good one. The Candemonium is a really good B&M hyper coaster. She's disappointed that they don't have the vampire uh, Reese's. <laughs> he was here earlier. He was here. Stop. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's like those Reese's commercials from the 80s and 90s with the vampire biting into it, leaving the fang marks. Now, wait till you see how you have to exit the park now. You don't have a choice. They force you to go through this giant gift shop. The audacity, right? <laughs> Every other park you took me to this summer made me do that as well. Yeah. So. My favorite one's the Dollywood uh, gift shop. Right? The one you exit the Hollywood? They had that like gigantic Dolly Parton gift shop with like big pictures of her and like Dolly licensed stuff everywhere. This kind of reminds me of that but without the cool Dolly Parton stuff. Yeah, I don't like this area for the carousel nearly as much. Like. It should be like a cent carousels are meant to be like a centerpiece. Like you're supposed to be able to like see it from all angles or whatever. Like the way they put it up here in this corner is kind of dumb. I like how they play like Halloween uh, music on the band organ there, right? They do that at uh, Christmas too. They always did. Maybe you can go out this way. Everyone's going this way. I thought you had to go out through the shop. Maybe. No, I do. The last time I was here, they you couldn't go this way. Maybe it's just because of the event. All right, so thanks for joining us for the first night of the second year of Dark Nights. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you already are subscribed, keep an eye out because I'm going to be putting out the last video from the Midwest trip. And after that, there is a ton of content coming. We got all, our entire New England trip, which is going to be probably another 30 vlogs. We got footage from our trip last week to Ocean City and Rehoboth. And then there's another and then there's another trip coming up <laughs> so there's months worth of content on the way so thanks for watching and we will catch you on the roadside <laughs>